Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends. Welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. This is our Picks of the Month episode for January 2020. And today's theme is the 14 amazing Magic the Gathering cards that have been getting cheaper recently. So if you look at these cards, many of them are modern staples, and we know modern's been going through some turbulent times. But these cards are cheaper than they've been in a very long time. And a lot of players could be interested in picking them up, maybe for modern, maybe for other formats. One quick note about the Picks of the Month videos, they do come out once a month, and they do go out to gold patrons first. By the time you see this on YouTube, it could be about 24 to 48 hours later. Prices might have shifted a little bit, but I'm not expecting any big changes within that time period. Before we look at the cards, though, just a quick reminder about the purpose of this video. It's not about getting rich quick, especially this month. These are some more expensive cards we're going to be talking about, but I do believe over time all of these cards will slowly go up in value again. Keep a close eye on any of these, though, if you're looking to purchase them. They could dip a little more before they stabilize. Also, in this video, we're just talking about regular versions of the cards. No foils or promos. All right, we're going to go in color pie order, beginning with Karn Liberated. New Phyrexia is at $47.96, Modern Masters 2015 at $46.09, and Ultimate Masters at $47.99. So this, like a lot of the cards we're going to talk about today, is a modern staple that has been losing value. Why is that? What's happening with modern? Well, a few things to consider. First off, Pioneer is diluting the player base a little bit. Some people are going over to Pioneer, they're putting their time and resources into that format. Not as much in Modern anymore. Now, I don't think Modern is going to go away or anything like that. I think it will be healthy, but I do think the player base will continue to be lower than it was in the past because you have this new option. Secondly, Mystery Boosters. We've seen the convention edition of those, but this March there's a retail edition coming, and there's a big difference. The retail edition is going to have 121 additional foil reprints, that are not in the convention version. Because of that, a lot of people are hesitant to buy the more expensive modern cards because there's a good chance a reprint could be coming. Thirdly, modern has gone through a lot of turbulence, mostly because of Oko again, which we've seen in a lot of formats, but Oko was just banned, so a lot of the decks that were not doing well because Oko was in the format, like Tron, for example, in this case, they are starting to make a comeback. And I do think now that Oko's gone, more people will start to play modern again, and some of these old decks will come back, Cards like Karn could be poised to move up again. Next we have Rest in Peace, the Return to Ravnica copy of $5.52, the Masters 25 copy of $5.98, and the Signature Spellbook Gideon copy, the one that's not foil, is $5.38. So this is a great card, especially to play out of sideboards to deal with graveyard shenanigans, and with Theros Beyond Death coming, you could see more graveyard shenanigans, especially in Pioneer. Now the reason this card has been soft recently is because of the recent printings. The Signature Spellbook copy, as well as the Masters 25 copy, did not come out all that long ago. Jason the Mind Sculptor. Here's a big card in Modern that has lost a lot of value recently. World Weight, down to $110.96. Eternal Masters, down to $100.03. Masters 25 at $107.98. So, again, you have a card that's very expensive. People are nervous to pick this card up. It feels like maybe it's due for a reprint. And of course, with Oko in the format, this card was seeing less modern play. I do think with Oko gone now, this will see more modern play and could again be poised to go up in value. Although Oko is still kicking around, obviously, in Legacy and Vintage. Kind of the same story with this one. I think this could be going up in value with everything changing in the modern format. This already sees a lot of play in modern, Legacy, Vintage, and Commander. Of course, this is Snapcaster Mage. You can get Innistrad right now for $49.99. Modern Masters 2017 at 4965, Ultimate Masters at 4841. Dark Confidant. This is one that's already starting to go up in value a little bit because with Oko gone, Jund actually had a pretty good week in the format about a week ago. And this, of course, he's playing in that deck as well as others in the format. So the Ravnica City of Guilds version is at 5209 right now, Modern Masters at 5442, and Modern Masters 2015 at $50.37. Liliana of the Vale, again, another card that does see play in that Jun deck, has started to bump up a little already. The original Innistrad 6850, Modern Masters 2017 at 6231, and Ultimate Masters at $60. Once upon a time, now this is a new card, a lot of copies in circulation, but it did get banned in Standard as well as Pioneer. So the players that play those formats, not interested in this card, but you know who is? Modern and Legacy players. This card is burning it up there. 
Only $7 right now. I think this is a good pickup. Vale of Summer, another recent card that got banned in Standard and Pioneer. $5.95 I think is a steal for this card right now, even though it's an uncommon that's relatively new. But again, this card has been fantastic and modern and legacy. Here's an interesting one. Deathrite Shaman, Return to Ravnica, $5.50. Eternal Masters, $5.59. Guilds of Ravnica, Golgari Guild Kit, $5.01. Okay, so this is banned in modern as well as legacy. When the Pioneer format came around, a lot of people thought this would be very good. But it turns out without fetch lands, it's not all that great necessarily. However, there's new cards coming out all the time for the Pioneer format. And I do think eventually something is going to work well with this one. If you can grab these for like under $5 now, I would get a playset. I think that would eventually pay off for you. And remember, this is still a good vintage card. Oko Thief of Crowns, there he is, $19.50 and still dropping. So I would wait on this one and kind of see where it goes before it stabilizes. Obviously, the card keeps getting banned, right? Started off with Brawl, then Standard, then Pioneer, then Modern. What's next? Would it be Legacy, Vintage, Commander? Well, I don't think it's going to get banned everywhere. I mean, maybe Legacy at some point, I don't know. Maybe Restricted and Vintage. But I do think it's a card that Commander players will still play. It will still be played in some form in Vintage. And there's a chance it could stick around Legacy too. But I think the true long-term appeal here is just how notorious this card is. It's developed a reputation, and there's a lot of stories behind it. I think people are going to want these in their collection, even if it is just to put in a cube or play casually. So once this gets cheap enough, I would think about grabbing some copies. Mox Opal, as we move to Artifacts, recently banned in Modern, so it has lost a fair amount of value. $78 for the original one from Scars of Meriden. Modern Masters 2015 at $77.77 right now. Even though this is now banned in Modern, this is still a big Legacy and Vintage card, and it's a huge Commander card. A lot of Commander players have been saying, you know what, I'm going to wait for this to go down in value, and then I'm going to pull the trigger when the time is right. I think when the time is right and people start thinking, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this card, you're going to see them disappear again from the marketplace and prices start to shift up, maybe even quickly. Just keep a close eye on this one, and when the time is right, try to get a copy. Similar story with Mycosynth Lattice, very recently banned in Modern, and you're going to find the original Dark Steel copy at $44.99 on average now. And Battle Bond at $40.10. Now, this is still dropping pretty quickly. Again, I would wait a little bit and try to shop around if I want to buy the card. But remember, even though it's gone from Modern, it still has a big footprint in other places. This plays well with Karn the Great Creator. And of course, that card was restricted in Vintage, but these two still see play there. This also sees play with that card in Legacy. And Commander, I think, is the biggest indicator of what will happen long-term with prices. And there's a lot of Commander players that are going to want this card still. And because of that, much like Mox Opal, I think it will stabilize and then start to creep up, maybe even quickly. Cavern of Souls. This is another card that should start to bump up now that Oko is leaving the Modern format. And some of the other decks that we used to see all the time in Modern are creeping back in. This does see play in decks there like Amulet Titan, Humans, and a lot more. It sees Legacy, Vintage, and Commander play as well. And it's a very popular casual card for anyone that wants to build a tribal deck in general. The original Avacyn Restored copy right now, $57.37, Modern Masters 2017 at $60, and Ultimate Masters at $59.99. Wasteland, this is a great legacy and vintage card, also sees a lot of commander play too. And this card lost a lot of value back when the Eternal Masters reprinting came out. So it's still relatively cheap, at least in comparison to where it used to be. $33.23 for the original Tempest version, $30.18 for that Eternal Masters copy. Okay, that does it for the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. We're going to come back on Saturday for our regular episode where we talk about all things that are happening in the secondary market. But until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.